Hello everybody, Adam here again to make another exciting cocktail. Uh, I chose a cocktail, it's kind of a hidden gem on our cocktail menu here at the club. It's called the Sidecar. The Sidecar is actually an interesting little cocktail. It was invented in a small town outside of France just after World War I, and it really is named after the motorcycle attachment that a good captain on the French side used as a mode of transportation from his place to the little bistro actually where it was created. Now that's the only information with regards to the name that I found. So if you do, if you actually know a, another reason why it may be called the sidecar, stop me in the club, I'd, lear, I'd love to learn. So it is a, a very simple cocktail to make. It's literally only three ingredients. So we're just gonna dive right in. As I showed you in the martini video, you always wanna start off by chilling your glass. I'm off it, excuse me. There we go, get some ice in there. So when we're constructing the drink, that glass gets nice and chilled, folks. Okay, so we're gonna add some ice to our shaker cup here. Like that, there we go. Now the main spirit of this cocktail is actually cognac. Cognac is just a type of brandy. The one we have on our shelves is the Chateau de Montefiore, the VS, pardon my French, honestly, I know it's awful. And then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of triple sec, which is the same orange liqueur that I used in the last video, the Long Island iced tea. And then we're gonna cut it with a little bit of simple syrup. Now this drink was first invented with a sugar rim. That sugar rim is supposed to cut the sourness of the drink, but over years, bartenders actually just started adding a dash of the simple syrup just to take away that sugar rim. So that's how we're gonna do it at the club today. So, like I said, we're gonna start with a 1.5 ounces of the cognac. Get that in here. I've got one and another 0.5 here. Perfect. Now we're going to follow that with a 0.5 of an ounce of the uh, triple sec here. A little bit of flair to that here. Oh, there we go. In there. So 0.5 of an ounce of the simple syrup. Again, that's just your uh, reduced sugar with some water on the stove top. Let it cool, put it in a jug. There we go, there we are. We're gonna do about 0.75 ounces of uh, fresh lemon juice as well. Right about half a lemon, it's that, they're a little bit big, so. Oh, I'm making a mess. It's a little bit bigger than the squeezer, so you might have to rotate the lemon, get it in there. It's a little bit messy, but bartenders, you know, bartending is a little bit messy. You gotta have some fun. Get a little messy. I sound like the Bob Ross of making drinks, I'm sorry. There we are. So we got our uh, cognac, we got our triple sec, we got the simple syrup, we got some fresh lemon juice. We're gonna just hit it with a shake. Usually about 20 seconds again for time's sake. Just gonna speed it up a bit here. I'm gonna get rid of our ice here. Boom, nice chilled glass. Now we're gonna double strain this drink. Because we're adding that fresh uh, lemon juice, a lot more pulp gets into there than you would think. So we're actually gonna use the strainer on the cup and fine strain it into an external one here as well. You want this drink as crystal clear as possible as like a cosmopolitan. That's why we double strain it. And if I could show you, there's quite a bit of pulp there that we, that we would have missed if we didn't double strain it. All right, and then for a garnish, we're just gonna hit it with a twist of lemon. All right, so we, let's get a nice big peel of lemon here. There we go, like that. Now I usually twist it over the spoon or a straw. I don't have one here today, so I'm just gonna use my hands. I always do my twisting over the drink, just in case any of those essential oils do come out into the drink. I always give it a nice rim, nice big twist. Just pop that in there. There you go. There you have the sidecar. Cheers.
I have to be perfectly honest, I've never had a sidecar before. That's delicious. Honestly, it is supposed to be more of a sour forward drink, but cutting it a bit with that simple syrup, but then regaining the aromas of sourness using that lemon really hits it. And this cognac is beautiful. It doesn't sting right at the end. Apparently I'm drinking it all. Oh, that's delicious. That being said, I really hope you come down and enjoy one of these. We'll be happy to make it for you. Cheers.